Hi everyone, this is Ms. Helms, and by the end of this video, you should be able to apply the learning target. I can prove that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. In this problem, we are asked to solve for the missing measurements of the angles in the diagram below. So taking a look, we have two different triangles. We have this triangle on the left, and we also have this triangle on the right. So we're going to go ahead and start with the triangle that has more information, which would be the triangle on the left. Taking a look, we know two angle measures. We know 82 degrees, and we also know 31 degrees. Also looking at this diagram, we see angle P is referring to this angle right here. However, these are vertical angles, so this angle right here would also be angle P. So, if we wanted to solve for the measure of angle P, we can set up an equation based on what we know about the interior angles of a triangle. So we know that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So to set up an equation, we have 82 plus 31 degrees plus P is equal to 180 degrees. To solve for P, we have to combine our like terms. So 113 plus P is equal to 180 degrees. To get P by itself, we're going to use inverse operations, so subtract 113 from both sides. So we get P is equal to 67 degrees. So we've solved for one of these angles. However, we're also asked to solve for Q. So we're going to go ahead and write the 67 degrees in our diagram. And now that we know two angle measurements in this triangle on the right, we can go ahead and solve for the missing measurement of angle Q. So to solve for that, we know that the sum of all of these angles should be 180 degrees since it's a triangle. So 67 plus 98 plus the measure of angle Q is equal to 180 degrees. Combining our like terms, we get 165 plus the measure of angle Q is equal to 180 degrees. Using inverse operations, we're going to go ahead and subtract 165 from both sides. So we get Q is equal to 15 degrees. Nice work!